Greetings and thank you for tuning in to the filling station. This week we talked about they that wait on the Lord. Do you know how to wait? Can you wait to be renewed? Will you soar like an eagle? Tune in and be blessed. We want to go to 40. I, I need everybody to see this today because I need you to understand. You know, these, these cliche scriptures are a mess. Um, that, that people have created. So when we go to 40, go to, you already know, don't, don't, don't get to laugh, don't get to clown me. 31, let's go to 31 first. We there. Come on, come on, get with you, it's all right. That's why I want to say, it's washing wear, come on. Keep washing. 31. <coughs> say, but they that wait upon the Lord. You see that? It says that they shall renew their strength. And they, 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 they shall mount up with wings as eagles. And they shall run and not be weary. And then it says they shall walk and not faint. Do you see that? I need you to keep, keep, keep the tears rolling because there's a cleansing for you, honey. There's a cleansing for you. It's a, you just have, sometimes you have to be cleansed. And the tears are the greatest way to be cleansed. Uh -huh. And because of who we are and, and our heritage and our, come on, our culture, yeah. you know, crying is for the weak, you know. No. They say for men, cry, that's for sissies. That, you know, that's, no. No. <clears throat> Makes you stronger. Yeah. Because Jesus cried. He was the, a real man. Come on. Mm -hmm. He was a savior. And David wept. Moses did some crying before he got angry. But he did do some crying. So it's okay for you to weep. It's not, you're not weak if you weep. So you need to weep sometimes. When Hannah wept, God opened up her womb. Come on. Things happen when you weep. Come on, yeah. Something has happened to me this week. Come on. I'm going to make an apology for it. Something just has happened. Something got a hold of me. What did Mary Mary say? Something big done happened to me. Come on, I gotta tell the world about it. God, greatest man in history. Come on, y'all, it's quiet. I don't understand. But anyway, so they that wait on the Lord, are we there? Shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Here, here is the question. What are we waiting on? Have you thought about that when you read this scripture? What what is it that we are waiting on? What are we waiting on? You, 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 are you there? I, I need you to answer that for yourself. Remember the stuff, what did we write down last week? What, what holds us to our past? What's holding us back? What's, what's, holding, what's keeping us from moving forward? So the, 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 the scripture say, he says, but they that wait. And I said, well, God, I've been, I've been looking at this all week. Didn't this break out in prayer? I yep. this out in prayer. The Lord said this to us in prayer. And, and I said, God, what, what are we waiting for? What is it that you're talking about when you say they that wait upon the Lord? And then I asked him, I said, who? Who, who is doing the waiting? Who's doing the waiting, oh God? Who, is, who are the they and what is the what? And so he said, it's, 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 not, it's not the kind of waiting where, you know, I'm just waiting on God. That's not it. Come on, how we say that? Just waiting on God. And God is going to do it. Do what? What is he going to do that you can't do? What is he going to do that he hasn't done already? Mm -hmm. how, how are you going to catch up to what he's done? Come on. And so when we're doing our 90 days, we're not waiting on God. We're getting in there with God. Mm -hmm. See, I send, I send, I send, 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 send messages so you can <clears throat> be reminded of where you need to be in, where you need to be in the movement. So I said, God, what are we waiting on? He said, it's not that stuff that can go away. What you're waiting on is, is kingdom stuff. Come on. That's what you wait. They, they, they wait up on the Lord shall renew their strength. That's what he's going to do. I got to take my time because, see, this. I, I was excited all in my sleep. Went to bed about one. Come on. Just excited. Just excited about what the Lord was saying to us. I'm talking to us. I'm so glad we don't have no business today. Come on. Because sometimes when we have visits, we got to, do you feel like we got to hold back? I feel like with the Lord, we got to hold back. But he, he delivered me from that last night. But come on, this word right here was for us. With the day. 
So he say, who, who is doing the waiting? Who are the they? Uh, verse 9. Let, let me bring, let's go to verse 9 and 40. I really want you to get this today. Even through your tears, woman, I want you to get this. Even through, keep, keep, keep crying until the, until the cistern stops. That's to keep crying until the fountain dries up. <coughs> when the fountain don't dry up, that's when we start acting out. Like when somebody died and we go to somebody else's funeral, you're not crying because the person died. You're crying because the fountain never was empty. Come on. See how people act the fool when stuff happen, they get over emotional, over dramatic. Because mm -hmm. the fountain never ran, the, the well was never empty. Got to empty out the well. Come yeah. on, I'm saying something. That's real. And so, not because you see folks just acting a fool. And you're like, she didn't even know her. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But that fountain was full. Yeah. You didn't get it out when you should have got it out. That's what happens to us when we walk around here talking about, you don't cry, you do that, you to shut them tears up. That's not it. Get them tears out. Right. Verse 9, I want to take you to the who. Are we there? It mm -hmm. says, oh, Zion. Yep. That's, the, that's the one. That's the one I like right there. He said, oh, Zion. What I want you to understand is that the world was in a time of more turmoil than it is now. We got resources to end our turmoil. They didn't have resources, see. They didn't have the stuff that we have to, to, to succumb to some of the stuff. They didn't have shelter. Come on. They had to build the shelter from the ground up. Uh -huh. We can go to shelters and get help in the time of need. Yeah. So 9 says, O Zion, that bring us good tidings and get thee up in the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength and lift it up and be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God, my God. See, this is, these are the, this is the day right in here. He said, Zion is the, 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 the people who bring the good tidings. And so I said, God, what is good tidings? You know, not the good tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. That's it right there, that, that Christmas song. See, we for say, when you read the book of Isaiah, all them Christmas songs come from right, come on, y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. All them Christmas songs, the real Christmas songs. Uh-huh. Come on. Not ba -na -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. not that one. <laughs> come on, not hang all the mistletoe. That not that. Come on, that came from Donnie. But the the the, 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 the ones who bring good tidings and draw said, God, what are the good tidings? So anything good is something that's desired. Come on, I'm saying, I, 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 really, I need you to hear this today. Anything good is something that's desired. Uh -huh. And if it's desired in the book, it said it's desired from God. If the tidings are the sound. Come on. Uh -huh. It's a desired sound that he's looking for. Uh -huh. So he said, those, these are the, these are the they that wait. Come on. These are the ones who are going to get what I say they're going to have. The ones who bring me good sound, uh -huh. desired sound, good tidings of comfort and joy. Uh -huh. Who gets the comfort? Did we all just get comforted when praise and worship was going for? Yes. Did we bless his name? Yeah. See, that's good tidings, desired sound. Desired sound is when we start going off all in a prophetic and getting ignorant with it. <laughs> See, that's the desired sound from right. heaven that he wants to hear. Come on. And that's why we just love to stay there. We can't even come out of praise and worship sometimes. We got to redirect the song, because if, he, if he keep playing, we keep singing. If he keep playing, we keep on dancing. Come on, because it's desired sound. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. These are the day. And so he said that our resources are different. He said, you who bring good tidings to Zion. Come on, I want to stay right in here. Come on, because Zion, remember that song we did? Zion is calling me to a higher place of pray. See, Zion calls us to the higher place of pray. That's why we can't come out. Zion calls us to the higher place. Why? Because Zion is the holy city that David made. Uh -huh. Come on, and, and you, know, you know how God felt about David. You know how he felt about when he brought him that pure praise and that pure worship. And so that's what happens on the city of Zion. That's what happens on the hill. And Jerusalem was just, was just anointed from day one. And so I need you to come here. That's why he said, oh, Zion, that bring us good tidings. Get up into the high mountain. Come on, get to where nobody can see you and bless my name. Get to the highest peak of the mountain and just begin to praise me. Okay. Come on, because there's no searching of my goodness and there's no searching of my power. My truth and do it to all. And get up there and, and, and shout out to the Lord with a loud voice and spare not. And then he said, oh, Jerusalem, that bring us forth good tidings. Come on. And then he said, lift up your voice. You hear that? Lift up your voice with what? Strength. Yep. Lift up your voice.
voice with strength. And then he said, lift it up and be not afraid to say unto the cities of Judah, behold your God. Because Judah was in trouble with another God, a, a small G God. Right. Then they got, they got themselves in real big trouble with the big G God. I just need to break it down for you. Zion is the hill okay. of Jerusalem where the city of David was built. And Zion calls us to a higher place of praise. You ever feel Zion calling you to a higher place of praise at the house? Yeah. yeah. You ever feel it in the car? Yes. Come on, you ever feel it when you're listening to a certain song? Come mm -hmm. on. He called you to, like, ooh, let me hear that again, oh God. Come on, he's calling you to a higher place of praise. And you take it off the shuffle to put it on a repeat. Come on. Yeah. Right, Come right. On. Ain't saying nothing Come on, now. talk Come about on it. Computer. He said, I know how to work mine now. Come oh, on, God. Lord, to God. <laughs> Man. Oh, my YouTube is on autoplay, honey. The next song come on. Oh, hey, glory. Come on, it calls me higher. Mm -hmm. See, these are the people that wait. These are, these are, I'm trying to get you, you to know who the they are. Come on. Because I said, God, who are the they? It just, it just can't be everybody because he said, they that wait. And so if I say them over there, that's a certain group of people. Right. Come on. So the they is a certain group of people. <clears throat> the people who know how to bring good tidings. The people who know how to bring the desired sound to him. Mm -hmm. Come on, the people that know how to bless him. Come on. Some people have just been chosen to worship him and praise him. Come on. Yeah. Is that you? Because I know that's me, honey. Yeah. You chosen just to worship him and praise him and just to just to show his, make his name big, honey. This is who I serve. Yes. Yeah. The God of my salvation. Come on, I'm saying something. I told you something big that happened to me. So then at 10, he says, he says, behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand. You need him to come with a strong hand to your situation right now. Uh -huh. I need a strong hand to come to my city. We don't got to know what it is. We just need a strong hand. And then it says, his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work is before him. And let's get back to what I was saying. Because see, I don't want to get, I want you to see this. What are you doing while you wait? You see that? How, what, what are you doing? That's, that's the question you need to ask yourself. Because let me read it for you again. It says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They that wait, it's a group of us. Are you in the group? That The group is the remnant. Do you get that now? Yeah. It's the remnant that's waiting on the Lord. But what are you doing while you wait? Are, 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 are you messing around? Are you waiting with the right intent? He say, are you in the right position to have the calling of Zion? Come on. Zion gives a special calling, but you have to be in the position to get the call, to hear it. Come on. Yeah. If, if Bishop is way outside, all the doors are closed, I'm not in a position to hear him if he's calling my name. Right. See, the song said he's calling my name. He's calling my name. I can't stay. I've got to go. God's called me to a higher place of praise. Remember that? We're bringing that in. That's, that's mine. God gave me that. Come on. Come on. He's calling my name. And, and so if he's calling my name, I need to be in a place where I can hear him call me. You, you know, when you haven't heard your mama call your name and she called, didn't you hear me calling you? Yeah, yeah. Were you in the position to hear her or were you ignoring her? Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. Were you in a position to hear what she was saying to you? Or what did you ignore her? Did she have to call you by your for your real name? And not that nickname? Because my mom used to call me Twiggy. Because my legs is long. They still are God, but they ain't no twigs no more. Come on. And so she used to call me Twiggy. And I used to be like, but then she would call, Tana! Uh, huh? Come on. Are you in a position to hear or are you ignoring? Yeah. What are you doing while you're waiting? When, when Zion calls you, you got to answer. I want to, oh God, I, I just, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Because yeah. I really want you to hear this. It says, they, that's supposed to be us. They that wait, okay? That's supposed to be us. Have you tapped into the waiting anointing? Come on, because there's an anointing when you wait. How do we know? Because it says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Now I want to deal with this scripture right here, because see, this is what gave me the victory last night. Come on, I had a victory dance in my feet and in the kitchen. Come on. Prior to taking my, my oh God, yeah, I can't, I can't say it like I want to say it. So, wait. Let's get to the wait. Are you there? Anybody got some highlighters? Y'all got highlighters? 
You, you, get, you, you got to get a highlighter. Get, look at my purse and get yourself a highlighter. You got to get a highlighter for this. Go ahead, you, you. You got one, amen. Praise God. So wait. I want you to see that. I want you to see what this weight is. And you remind you that they are supposed to be us. What have you tapped into the waiting anointing? There's an anointing while you wait. But you got to be part of the day to have the anointing. Mm -hmm. So he said, wait. Wait means to stay where one is or to delay action. Come on, you can't wait when you're anxious. Right. That's why he said be anxious for nothing. nothing. But in everything, be thankful unto God. He said, the, the waiting is to to, to is to where, where one is, is, is to stay where you are or to or to delay an action. How hard is that? And then you delay the action until a particular time or until something else happens. Come on. You, do we know how to wait? Come on, ask yourself, do I really know how to wait on it? Come on, how many of us are waiting for something right now from God? But you, but you, how many waiting diligently though? Come on, that's a, come on. You got to be honest with yourself. Am I really waiting diligently, or do I get mad when I hear the no's? Not the no, the no's with the S on it, the multiple no's. Come on. Yeah. Do I get mad? Yes. Yes. So then I don't know how to wait. Come on. I want you. You got to be honest with yourself. Because <coughs> if you part of the day, you got to bring it in right in here. Yeah. And see that they that wait on the Lord are the ones who get the renewed strength. Come on. And so then he says, shall. I want to I want to deal with that word. Because this, oh God, this blessed me right in here. My God. The shall. Come on, I got it all highlighted and carrying on with these primary colors. And so then he says, shall is expressing future tense. Come on, they that wait on the Lord shall renew. Come on, it's going to happen for me. But I gotta learn how to wait. Right. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying what I need you to say. Uh-huh. It's Amen. going to happen for me, but I got to learn how to wait. Yeah. How many of us really know how to wait? Come on, we're going to learn today. Amen. He said, shall. The anointing gives in the shall. You see how many shalls are in the scripture? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Let's get to the renew. Because I, I had to, I said, God, I need you to break it down. Because see, we don't heard it a thousand times. We got a song, they that wait. On the Lord, come on, shall renew. Come on, we got songs and everything. They shall mount. And if we inherit, if we never listen to the song, we wouldn't even know the scripture. Come on. Oh, Verbatim. Come on. So, renew. If he's going to renew my strength, it's, the renew is the, I mean, the shall is the future to Like he says, I shall come forth as pure gold. Uh huh. I shall see his face. Come on, that's one day. That's not two day, but that's one day. In your waiting, you got to know that's one day. It's going to happen for me one day. Not two day, but it's going to happen for me. So he said, renew. Renew is to resume after an interruption. Did you see? Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you see that? How many, how, many, how, many, how many of us have been knocked off the trail? You get knocked off the trail. And so when you get, he says, I'm going to renew you, though, but you need to learn how to wait. Come on. I, y'all ain't saying, I need you to, I need you to get this. You, I know I got the right message, but do I have the right group of believers right in here? Yes. You got to know how to wait on him. Uh -huh. Just like you all in this car accident, you got to learn how to wait for whatever else is coming because of it. Come on, all the pain and suffering I don't went through, Lord, right. but you still got to know how to wait because I'm going to. I said, I shall renew your strength. Yeah. 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 After interruption in your bank account, I shall renew your money. Yeah. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know we get interruptions in that bank account. <laughs> come on. Just debits. What? Now, wait a minute. Where did this come from? Right. From who? And who authorized it? But he said, I shall renew it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Resuming after an interruption. Then he said, res resuming. It, it, the, the part I like is when he said, I'm going to start it again. Yeah. Come on, I need to, let's get to 29. Because uh, I, I, I really need you to see this. He said, he give, are we there? I need you to follow. He giveth power to the faint. And, let, and, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. He said, I'm going to do it again. Increase that, meaning I've done it once, but I'm going to do it again for you. Yeah. Because I can see your strength is leaving you, yeah. son. I can see your strength is leaving you, daughter. I need to renew your strength. Right. Mm -hmm. He only talking to the they, though. Yeah. Now, talking to the ones who can't hear the call of Zion, come on. 
I, I said, God, who, who, who are the they? He had, he'd been downloading it for me all week because I said, God, I need to know who the they were specifically. I need to know if I'm a part of the they. Come on. Right. And if I'm not, show me how I can get in the they area. Come on. Right. right. So he said, they are going to mount up with wings as eagles. Come on, this is a part that blessed me right in here. To mount means to ascend. When, when an eagle mounts his wings, when any bird mounts their wings to fly, they, you can see the intensity in their eyes. Yeah. Come on, especially an eagle. I asked the Lord, I said, God, why did you compare the situation to the eagle? Yeah. That's the strongest bird. The man God. Mm -hmm. He said, when an eagle flaps his wings, did y'all see that? I need you to see. He said, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. It's a semicolon right there. I need you to, I, he said, I need you to just rest right in there and then just, I, I'm going to start the sentence over, but I need you to see something about the eagle. The mount up, okay, we got ascension. But then when an eagle, because see, did you know he ascended after 40 days? Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing right in there. Right. He said, I, he, he stayed with us for 40 days. Come on, had breakfast with the disciples. Come on, did some healings and some miracles. And then there was a great ascension. Yeah. And so he wants us to mount up ascending as eagles with those wings. I, I looked it up. You know, Google is my boyfriend. Right. And so he says, when an eagle flaps its wings, most of the power comes from the downward stroke. Come on. Yeah. Did you see? Uh -huh. Most yeah. of the power comes from the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Forces you come on. The grace. Yeah. Come on. Oh God. Most of the power comes from the grace. Yeah. Come on. In the mercy. Grace. Uh -huh. And from the mercy. Grace. That's what I had. That's come what on. happened to me last night. Come on. Before I rolled my hair. Oh God. Come on. He said, most of the power comes from the downward stroke. Then he said to me, he said, the rest comes from the focus and the direction. The downward stroke, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm going. The downward stroke is where you get the power from. Yeah. Come on, when you don't have a downward stroke, that means you're not doing nothing. When you got a downward stroke, there's motion in you. Come on, you got yeah. the motion. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. After real. you get so high, you oh, cold out by by side. After you ascend it, come on, the eagle, you can just see the eagle just begin to come on, just yeah. soar. High yeah. glory uh -huh. to God. He said that shall mount up as wingle, wings with eagles. And, and they, they they shall soar. That's what he said. When you mount up like that, that means you flying high with me. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. But you got to be part of the day. Got to be part of the day. The power is in the downward Come on, make a plane for us. Oh God. Then he said, they shall. Come on, that's the I don't know about y'all. That's the that blessed me right there. Come on, they shall. He said that it's in the downward stroke. <laughs> Eagles don't play games. No. When they see some food, if you're a fisherman and you out there fishing, that water's beautiful, crystal clear, the eagle can see the fish before you can. Yeah. You right up on it. That's he can true. see it thousands of miles in the air. Because he's ascending, he's soaring high. And whatever I want, come on. I need you. I need you to get this. Whatever on. I want, I'm going to get it. Come on, Because now I'm flying high. I, I, I've done the down. I've done the downward stroke. I, I, I've had the grace and I got the mercy. But now I can get whatever I want because I can see it. Come on, y'all ain't saying. And yeah, yeah, you can, when, when, when the eagle is soaring like that, now I can see the fish. I know he's there. I know, I know he, he, he's trying to get it, but that fish belongs to me. me. Yeah. Come on. I, I know that they want that meal right there, but that is mine. And I'm going to get it. Why? Because I'm a part of the day. And he told me I shall mount up as wings, with wings, as uh -huh. an eagle, and I shall soar. The next part say, <clears throat> They shall run. Now, again, let's get the shell. I need you to circle that shell, highlight it or something. Shell, the anointing is in the shell. Mm. So I'm going to give you the anointing to run. And I looked at runners. You know, runners got a lot of poise, a lot of grace. Yeah. It takes, it takes a strong body to run. Yeah. You can't be no pump. You say, I'm going to run. I used to run. I love the best exercise ever. Everything is strength. Cardio, knees, come on. He said, when you run, 
I looked up running. It said, you never have both feet on the ground. Come on, y'all Y'all ain't saying nothing. When you're running, you're not jogging. Come on. Like what I'm doing right now, standing in play. When you're running, both feet are never on the ground. That's true. What, what are we supposed to be doing in 90 days? Running. Running. He said, both feet are never on the ground at the same time. Why? Because you focus. I don't need the other foot on the ground. I don't need focus because I'm focused. I know where I'm going. I know I got two miles to get to the next destination. I know I got two more miles to get back to the house. Come on. I've been anointed to be able to run. But am I a part of the day? Then he said to me, he said, if you don't have the focus, you're going to trip and fall. That's when runners get injuries because mm -hmm. they lose focus. I, I wondered often about Olympic runners. How can they run that fast? Huh. And no, I've been on fail and tripped over by the velocity of my body. Come on, the weight, boom, shifted. Head messed up. Scars. They're focused. Mm -hmm. And they spend a lot of time practicing. Come on, you sang boat. Now, I don't know if somebody don't broke his record, but he used to be the fastest man in the world. Mm -hmm. Focus, driven, tall, long limbs. Come on, you had, to me, that's, I, I, when I see the Olympic, Olympic athletes, I say, oh, they're doing it for the glory of the Lord. Come on, they're using their bodies to the greater good. Come on. Y'all, yeah. somebody just said, athletes use their body for the greater good. And so the enemy gets it perverted when they start taking those enhancement drugs. Come on, I'm saying yeah. something right in here. Because yeah. Paul gave an illustration of it. In Ephesians, he talked about running. In Philippians, he talked about running. I want to run this race with patience. Yeah. Talking about the Olympic Games, he was that. Come on. They didn't call them that back then, but that's what they are today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came from Greece. Come on. Yeah, you got to, yeah, yeah, got to get in your history. They you got did. to get in your books. That's real. You got to get in there. There's, there's no reason for us to be ignorant because we have Google. Right. Google tells us all things. Come on. Right. It don't tell us the deep things of God, like the Holy Ghost, but it tells us all things. Come on. Right. Come on, how do I shave my nose without cutting myself? Come on, you just ask it. It's just, it's just well, what you do is, come on. We got smartphones, it's in our hands, so there's no reason for us to be ignorant. And so Paul gave an illustration right in there because the athletes use their body to the greater good. So we have the ability, we are anointed to run. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? Because we got some, we got money right in here. Come on, y'all ain't, y'all not convinced. Y'all still ain't convinced. Okay, I, I was money in me. Come on. Yeah, it is. It's money in me. And, and he's anointed me to run to get it. Come on. Uh, and I don't have both feet on the ground when I run because I'm focused on the goal. Come on. Yeah. I'm focused on the right. mileage. I'm focused. Yeah. That's what you got to be when you run. He said they let wait up on the Lord. Strength, strength going to be renewed. Uh -huh. And then he said they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. Then he said again. And not be weary. Let's look at this weariness here. Right. Come on, because weariness is a is is is. Remember we saw that movie, The Right. Yeah. Can turn into a demonic force against you. Yeah. You saw that. You were with us. Remember that that priest who got uh, Perverted. possessed Perverted. Uh -huh. by the spirit of grief, and it became a demonic force in his life. And that other man had to go in there and, 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 and cast it out in an unconventional way. Come on, that's the part I like about the whole movie. Yeah. Come on, he didn't go in there with no, no book. He went in there with the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you're going to come out today, devil. Come on, he wasn't going in there with no cross and carrying on. Come on, y'all need to see the movie again. Yeah. I, that's the part of the movie that, that, that gives me the victory. He didn't go in there with the conventional way with the cross and the... Uh, and, uh, the <laughs> no, no. He said, you're going to come out of here today. Yeah. Because you're not going to torment me. Right. Come on, because the print, he got scared. Come on, let me leave that alone. This is a synopsis of the movie. Let me leave that alone. He got scared, and he said, you ain't going to torment me, devil. And see, that's what you got to do when you get weary. You got to let him know you're not getting ready to torment me with my past. You're not getting ready to torment me with the generational curse. You're not going to torment me with my mama. You're not going to torment me with my daddy. You're not going to do it. Right. That's what weariness does to you. Weary means tiredness yeah. from, from excessive exertion. That's what weariness is. You tired from excessive, excessive exertion. Now, when we leave church, we don't have, we don't done some excessive exerting. But when we leave church, we're not weary. Come on, right. we're just tired in our physical body. Physical. Yeah. Right. But that that spirit wants to go on. Come on, we can go to another service and do. Come on. Yeah. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. Or get someone and take a nap. Right. Let that flesh get renewed. Yeah. Right. Come on. Sometimes when we go out to eat, we be sitting at the table so sleepy. But I'm going to have the, uh, 
just wanting to go on. <laughs> Come on, yes. saying something. Because last week I was so tired, I was falling asleep at the table. Oh, Ooh, I want to say something right there, but I'm going to leave it over. And so then he said, the tiredness from excessive exertion. So what is running? Running is excessive exertion. But you've got that shell run on the, on the front of it. Come on, that shell is the anointing yeah. that does not make you tired. Come on. Mm -hmm. He said, that shall run and not be weary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Then he said, and, and they shall walk. You see that? Uh-huh. Walk. It's not the act of the feet. Walking now is the travel. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I, I just wish y'all would get excited with me right there. It, the walking is the travel. We're traveling to a destination. Like we're traveling, we travel from that room to this one. And now we're going to travel from this place to our building. Come right. on, y'all. Yeah. Right. Come on. Whoa. waiting on that right there. Yeah. He said, we, you are the day that's waiting right there. We, we shall walk and, and not what? Faint. Faint is to lose consciousness. Uh-huh. Not just, come on, but you, we can be unconscious of what we're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. We can walk in an unconscious state of mind. Yeah. And, 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 and the Holy Ghost has to give you a CPR class. It has to bring you back to life and bring you back to consciousness so you're breathing in sync with him. Come on. Y'all not say when 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 you have anybody ever took a CPR class before? When you take one, they you have to breathe and, you, and there's a rhythmic to it. One, two, three, yeah. four. One, two, three. And, and there's a rhythm to it. So when you lose consciousness, they have to bring you back with the rhythm. Come on. Right. There's a rhythm of heaven that you need. Come on. They, this is the day right in here. There's a rhythm that we need. One, two, yeah. three, four. What excites me is they blow their breath into you. They blow their breath into you. The breath of life. Come on. It's a CPR situation. Mm -hmm. I need to get you back respirating again. You're not going to be unconscious. You're not going to lose consciousness because there's an anointing for you to stay conscious. Oh. You think is are you unsteady. You haven't been unsteady. You got to get back to a sturdy rhythm. Come mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Come on. You ever been offbeat? Come on, sometimes we get off beat with Justin. Right, and you, you stop and you hear it and then you okay. Come on, you get this unsteadiness. Ste come on, it's an anointing to get you back to where you belong. Mm -hmm. So you can walk with the rhythm. Come on. Come on. So then he say, it's unclear, just cloudy. Anybody ever been cloudy in their judgment? Mm -hmm. you know, I just I just don't know. Mm -hmm. I just that's faint that's fainting. That's a part of fainting. It's not you passing out, boom, that's not it. It's a part of fainting and losing consciousness. Right. He said, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. He giving you the, 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 the antonym and the synonym for it. Come on. Yeah. That's what he's doing. He told me, he said, even the use. Let's go back to 28, and I'm going to leave you alone. I might, I might not. <laughs> he said, even. Have, have you not, he said, have you not known, ha, ha, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not? He He's neither is he weary. Did you see that? Uh -huh. He said, he fainteth not, neither is he weary. That's how I know he can give it to you. That's how there's an anointing there, because he can give you what he has. Come on. When, when the CPR is going on, he can give you what he has. They can give you what they have. They got breath. You don't. And so that's why they got to breathe into you. Uh -huh. So then he said, he said, and, and, and then he said, uh, uh, neither is with, there is no searching of his understanding. And he giveth power to the, to the faint. And them who, them that have no might, he increases strength. And then he said, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail and mm -hmm. fall. Do you see that? Fall. They shall utterly fall. But then he said, in what? Exhaustion. exhaustion. That's what y'all say. That's the NIV. In exhaustion. The lip. So then he said, but they that wait upon the Lord, come on, I need you to get this right in here, shall renew their strength. And who's going to do it? You. Because I'm going to anoint you to do it. Who's going to do the hair? You, because I'm going to anoint you to do it. Who's going to play? You, because I'm going to anoint you to play. Come on. Who 
who's going to write? You are, because I'm going to anoint you to do it. Yeah. He says, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. Once your strength is renewed, come on, the downward stroke. Uh huh. Mm. You can soar now. You can go where you want to go and get what you need to get. Come on, y'all ain't saying. I, I just, I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He say, you, you, the wings, wings as eagles, and and you're going to be able to soar. Yeah. Then he says, they shall run and not be weary. And then he said, they shall walk and not faint. Let's go to Thessalonians 1, 5 and 8. I hate that Sherry is not here. See, what happens is, is we let, the enemy works through our circumstances. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. That's how he works. It's what they got also, who they don't doubt. He works through your circumstances. Because the circumstances of what you're familiar with, mm -hmm. he can touch you right through there. He worked, she allowed him to work through her circumstances. Come on, say something. Yeah. When you work through, when he works through your circumstances, then you can't have your experience that you need. Mm -hmm. He told me to let her know. Don't you ask me another thing. Mm. You know why? Because I brought you back from the dead. Mm. So you already in my divine will, because I brought you back from the year, brought anybody back from the dead. I remember when I was dying, and he brought me back. So I know I'm in his divine will. Right. Oh, bye -bye, That's the part that gave me the victory today. He said, you, you, I don't, don't ask me another thing. I'm speaking to him in faith. Don't ask me another thing. Right. Because I brought you back from the dead. Don't you question me not another day, not another moment, because I brought you back from the dead. So you are in my divine will. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it, daughter. That's what he told me to tell her. He told me to tell Uncle Albert in his absence, I brought you back from the dead too several times. They pronounced you dead a couple times at the hospital via a stroke. And so don't you ask me another thing because you're in my divine will. What I need you to do is run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Right. Mount up your wings as an eagle and soar. That's what I need you to do. Come on. When he bring you back from the dead like that, God, I, 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 I was dying. When that mole hit my classroom, I, immune system, pew, pew. And when you work with children, they are, children are filthy. They are. And it's not their fault. They just don't know to wash their hands. When they, when they, don't, they don't know. Some adults are like that too, God. Come on. That's real. Because they was the kids that grew up. Come on. We got the swine and all of these H1N1s because people are nasty and they carry germs. So I was working with people like that, just about die. The doctor called me, he said, are you sitting down? I said, yes, line, room full of kids. I had my hair, my hair was falling out. You know, and when, I, when Lonnie was doing my hair, she said, ooh, she just would cry because she said, your hair looked like Melvin's hair. Melvin had died, come on. Yeah. My mama was scared, my eyes were bulging out of my head because I had lost all kind of So I know I'm in the divine will of God. And so when he told me that for Sherry, he broke me back. He brought me back to what he did for me. So I know I'm in his divine. That's why I get weary when I see what I see. Come on. Because yeah. I know we in his divine will. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I know we in his divine will. I know we doing something that, that, that constitutes the will of God on the earth. Come on. Yeah. And when you're a part of that, come on, you ought to be excited about that. Hallelujah. That's why I don't like to miss church. Because I know that church on Sunday is the will of God. Come on. First step. Come on. Y'all, I told you, y'all wasn't. I don't know. Five. Let's go to First Thessalonians chapter five. Because I need you to see this. He say, when he say, they shall mount up as wings, you shall, you shall, you shall, and not. Come on. He says, you shall and not. That's what you need to remember right in there. He say, uh, he say, in, in, in 18, Now let's go up to 17. Now let's go up to 14. <laughs> so it says, now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. You see that? You got to warn these people that are unruly who have let circumstances get in the way of them blessing God. Because yeah. see, when the circumstances get in the way, that means you don't faint it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have given up. Little parts of you have given up. And if little parts continue to eat away at you, it's going to 
become big. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to give up altogether. And then you're walking around asking questions. Oh, God, what am I supposed to be doing? What well, I was trying to show you, but you fainted. So he said, one that they're unruly, comfort the feeble-minded. You see that? Feeble-minded, weak ones. That's what corporate worship is all about. Did y'all hear that? Comfort the feeble-minded. That's what corporate worship is about. That's why I don't pay to just come to church and you try and look all cute and stuff. No, that's not what you come for. You right, see that? Right. It, say, it, says, it says comfort, mourn them that are unruly. That's open rebuke right there. Come on, y'all. I should say something. Mm-hmm. That's true. Comfort the feeble-minded. Somebody feeble in their mind, you need to strengthen them up. Come on, brother. Come on, sister. Come on. Feeble-minded. Then he said, support the weak. You see that? Support the weak. Where I'm weak, you're strong. If they can't praise God, you help them out. Right. Just like we're going to help Chunky out when that thing hit her for real. Come, Come on. Because it's hit her, but she won't let go. I, 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 I can see it. It's all right. We love you, though. We're not going to laugh. I promise. We're going to get an extra praise in with you. Right. Come on. We're going to support you. Come on. Right. Shemaya broke off into that African boom Boston dance. We supported her. Come on. Right. Glory to God. Oh, God. And when she, she break out into it now, we're going to support her. And right. And praise him with her. Right. God. And so y'all, y'all be ready. Be patient toward all men. You see that? That's a big one, God. That's a big one right in there. They say with all men, not some, all. That's rebuke. Got to be patient with all men. And see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good. Come on, here. there's an anointing in here. And so both among yourselves and to all men, come on, to us and to the men outside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Both among yourselves. You see, that's, that's first. Right. Then to when you go outside, when you do it out there too. It's not just we do it in here. And you, they just know you as a sweet person in church and at work. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Shemaya. Okay, uh, have a seat. I'll call and know you're here. Well, I, I'm looking for Brian. He said he was going to fix my computer today. Um, do you know him? Okay, well, have a seat. I guess he'll be out here in a minute. Come on, I'm sick. Yeah. We got that, 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 that happens in my office. Mm -hmm. When they say, well, I'm, I'm here to see you. Uh, Vanessa, do you have paperwork? Because she's not going to want to see if you don't have the proper documents. Come on. She's a client. You need to come on. I, I'll leave that alone because that, that's, a, that's a mess. It said, both among yourselves and to all men, rejoice evermore. It says, pray without ceasing. And then it says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. The will of God in Christ Jesus. Did you see that? Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's the, the will of God in Christ Jesus. You mounting up as a wing, uh, I mean as an eagle, is, is the will of God in Christ Jesus. You running and not fainting is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Well, how many out there are today? Come, Come on. on. How, many are the, how many have identified today uh, that, that, that they are the they? Yeah. That they are the they. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's why the Lord gave me that song that I, I, was, I sent to you. The one I know somehow, I know some way. That's, that's the one. Because see, sometimes we, we faint. There's an anointing in us waiting. Yeah. That's, that's really what I want to drive home to you. Waiting is the will of God concerning you. If you don't know how to wait, you're not in his will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you don't know how to wait, you're going to step outside of his will. When, when women are waiting for husbands, they, they, sometimes they get anxious. Then they get, end up settling for any old thing. Right. Yeah. Heartache. Come on, heartache becomes a part of your life. Because you didn't wait, like I said, to wait. If I could make Sarah have a baby at 100, I could make you have one at that age, too. You've got to learn how to wait on it. Yeah. Well, I don't, that's not for me. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not for me. Right. But if I can do it for them, look, what, what makes you think I can't do it for you? Come on. What makes you think in this day and age I can't send you the man of your dreams? What makes you think to, there's not a knight in shining armor waiting for you that I have designed with you in mind? Come on. Come on, I've delivered her just for you. Come on, she's going to cook the way you need her to cook. Uh, well, amen. There might be some stuff you might not like about it, but all the things that you do like, they're going to present themselves. Come on, I'm saying something. On, I'm speaking I'm to you if that's you. I'm going to put you in the right place. 
at the right time so they can see you. Oh, God. And not just the wife or the husband, but the executive. Yeah. Come on. Speak on it. Put the music in their ears so they can hear it. Come on, speak on it. What kind of melody is that? I'm going to put it before their eyes so they can see it. But they that wait on me, those are the ones who are going to make it. The ones who faint, they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. So what you need to ask yourself is what you're doing while you wait. Right. Do I have the, am I waiting with zeal? Zeal is great energy or enthusiasm. This is what he told me this morning. I was brushing my teeth. He said, it's the zeal when we get, that's what you need to have while you're waiting, is the zeal. The zeal is the great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an effect. Come on, I told you I date Webster. I got a lot of boyfriends. Webster's another one. Right. I love him. Uh -huh. Great cause or effect is the zeal. I'm waiting for something to happen for me, but I've got the energy. Come on, I, 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 I know what it is that I need. How many don't? That's when you don't have the energy, you faint. Yeah. You've got to have the zeal. That's what the Lord told me this morning about you. This is actually for you. He said that. He said, because I asked him, God, I said, who's waiting? He said, we were all waiting. He said, but you're waiting, but you're not waiting right. See, I knew the tears going over. He said, I... I you're waiting, but you're not waiting right. You gotta wait with zeal. You gotta wait with energy. You gotta wait with enthusiasm. When we lose that, that's when we get weary. That's when we start to faint. Come on, I need you to help her push through this. You, you, you have to wait with zeal, daughter. Yeah. See, I wrote this down for you. It, it, it says an, an objective. You have an objective in mind. You have a cause in mind. You got stuff. You can see it. But see, when it doesn't happen the way you want it to happen, you lose the zeal. And when you lose the energy, you lose the enthusiasm. And when you lose the enthusiasm, you don't even want to go to work. I'm not excited about it anymore. See, I write every day. I make myself write every day. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to lose the zeal. I'm going to lose the enthusiasm. I'm going to lose the edge. I'm going to, some ideas I'm going to miss because I haven't written. I got sticky notes everywhere. Blue, yellow, green. Because I write every day. And when you lose, when I lose that, it says I lose the appetite for it. I don't have an appetite for it anymore. Well, I remember you used to, no, I don't, I don't do that anymore. Because you lost the appetite. Not hungry. Well, I remember you used to, you lost the eagerness. Another synonym for, for zeal is eagerness. You got to be eager. You ever know somebody who just eager to tell you something? Just eager to call you. When Bishop gets excited, boop, 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 boop. Hello? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Boom. And he starts talking. Come on. And I love that. I know, I know, I know when I hear from Bishop, it, it's, it's, that's, that's what it's about. Come on. I love that. Digger. We lose the digger. We're not vigorous about it anymore. Oh my God, did you see? <laughs> Yeah. Fridays, we can count on who to call us. See, he wants to talk about Project Runway. Some of this stuff is ugly to me. But to him, oh my God, it was amazing. In fact, I saw the one Friday that was everything that Edmund did. Come on. See, he, he gets excited about that. When the, when the show goes off, he shouldn't lose his edge. He shouldn't lose the vigorousness. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy about uh, America's Next Top Model. And I, when the show goes off, I don't lose my edge. I don't want to be a model. Come on, if they want me to, no, I can. Come on. Uh -huh. But I don't want to be a model, but I, I look at the show because I get inspired. Mm -hmm. I get inspired by other people's dreams. And so when it happens for them, and you can get excited for them, God can do it for you. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Yeah. That wars out the jealous spirit that we have. Yeah. Come on, you got come on, because it teaches me even how to do my angles on my own selfies, honey. These cheeks on fleek, girl. Come on, work it. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> you gotta work. <laughs> Fanaticism is another one. Come on, y'all already know what time it is with your pastor. Fanaticism. Become fanatic about it. Yeah. 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 
when the Cowboys play and I'm talking to Boo, you can hear Bishop in the back. He's just fanatic about it. Come on! What? Oh, man! That, 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 that is, that's it. When you're not fanatic about something, you don't act like that. When I see certain movies, I'm like, nah, they're right. They don't, they don't miss that. They don't yeah. miss it. See, what they should have did, come on. Right. When you don't have that in you about your dream, it's not right. going to come, come on. something. Should have added this right here. You don't have that. Yeah. that I told you, 90 days after, your life, you have still the what? Suck your life. You lost your bigger. Come on. Say, they that wait up on She'll renew their strength. And then the last one I like is he said fire. Come on, that's for you. I need you to put that in oh, God. a place where you see that all the time. Because you need to have the seal, and you need to keep the seal. When you have the seal, how many have seen her look like she has the seal? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Makeup is to come on. Yeah. That's when you know you're walking in it. Yeah. We don't see that. We know. You can't lose the seal. Yeah. Can't lose the zeal. You always got to look like you got the zeal. It's best for you. I saw that this morning. So I wanna, I wanna sing this song, and I want you to, I want us to really join hands spiritually, and know that that we're gonna make it. Come yeah. on. Yeah. But because, because we got Jesus on our side. And, and, and then the songwriter said that things are going to work out just fine. Have you guys seen the Lord do some miraculous things in your life? Yes. You, don't, you, don't, you guys, they don't talk much. But the Lord said he was doing some miraculous things in your life. The thing I saw about her waving and speaking in tongues, that's the reaction that you're going to get. That we're going to get, excuse me. That's the reaction he's going to get for doing the miraculous. So when he starts showing out like that, that's when you're going to see her acting like that. Y'all ain't saying nothing right now. <laughs> when you start showing out in your life like that, you're going to start acting like that. You're going to start acting out. So oh, God. Uncontrolled. I saw it in my spirit. It's uncontrollable. Yeah. Just going off. Yeah. It was so much so till we all were like, because that's not in her character. But God make a new character. Come on. Uh, when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you have a new character. A new character. Yeah. yeah. One that's not ashamed. We love you. I, I need you to know that. We go, we because I saw you dancing this morning in the spirit. And uh, the Lord, you was just dancing. You was just over there. You just she just broke out and she's hey, hey. So much so till we were like, it's a joke. <laughs> Just like we did when we saw Bishop break out right. into that Holy Ghost crib wall. <laughs> Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing right there. Right. With Jesus on our side. I need you to get this in your spirit. Uh oh. Things will work out for I need you to get that in your spirit and I need you to let those tears go. We're gonna make it. Come on, I need, I need us to understand this song. Just say that part. We're gonna say with Jesus on our, our side. side. Things will work out about having an old anointing last week but some of the songs that we used to sing are classic. Yeah. It's a timeless anointing on some music. Come on. Yeah. When you hear Stevie Wonder's music, there's a timeless anointing. Come on, y'all didn't want to say yeah, that right there. Yeah. Some of James Cleveland music is a timeless anointing. Yeah. And when you hear some songs that bring you back to that one place, come on. We sang this when I was 8 or 12. Jesus on our side. And I didn't understand it, but I know now. Things will work out fine. Why? Because we're going to make it. How do I know? Because he's anointed.
wanted us to mount up with the wings as eagles. We're gonna make it. How do I know? Because he said, I shall give you strength to run. I'm gonna renew your strength and you're gonna do it. Cause we're gonna make it. This is what I felt in my spirit. And the, the lady said, she said, I know somehow. Uh huh. And I know some way we're gonna make it. Come on. So she said, I know somehow, some way. Then, then, then they said, they said, no matter what the test. Yeah. yeah. Whatever.
with you on our side, things are going to work out absolutely fine. Because we're going to make it. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. We encourage you to continue to tune in regularly. And if you are in the Las Vegas Valley, join us at the YMCA located at 4141 Meadows Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. Meet us there every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. As well, like us on Facebook and tune in to our podcast on iHeartRadio. If you are in need of special prayer, please email us at thefillingstationlv at gmail.com. We will be glad to labor with you until God offers a resolve. You can also sow a seed into this ministry by giving online through PayPal. Sow all seeds to thefillingstationlv at gmail.com. Expect a harvest. Be blessed.